Now we're going to take a look at summation notation. Many statistical formulas involve summing numbers. Fortunately, there is a convenient notation for expressing summation. This section covers the basics of this summation notation. Let's say we have a variable x that represents the weights in grams of four of the grapes shown here. We label grape 1's weight x sub 1, grape 2's weight x sub 2, and so on. The sum of the four weights is indicated by the expression shown under the data table. The Greek letter sigma indicates summation. The i equals 1 at the bottom indicates that the summation is to start with x sub 1, and the 4 at the top indicates that the summation will end with x sub 4. The x sub i indicates that x is the variable to be summed as i goes from 1 to 4. Therefore, the symbol means to sum x sub 1, which is 4.6, x sub 2, which is 5.1, x sub 3, which is 4.9, and x sub 4, 4.4. The sum turns out to be 19. This symbol means the sum only, to sum only the first three values. The index variable i goes from 1 to 3. This symbol means to sum all the values of x. When no values of i are shown, it means to sum all the values. It is very convenient to use this abbreviated notation. Many formulas involve squaring numbers before they are summed. This symbol means to square each of the values of x and then sum or add the squared values together. It makes a difference whether you sum the values and then square them, or square them and then sum them. The expression on the left of the middle line means to sum up all the values of x, and then square the sum, 19 squared equals 381. The expression on the bottom line means to square the numbers and then sum the squares, 90.54 as shown here. Some formulas involve the sum of cross products. The table shows the data for variables x and y. The cross products, x, y, are shown in the third column. The sum of the cross products is 28. The formula at the bottom shows how to express the summation notation.